My name is Melinda Epler. I'm the founder and CEO of Change Catalyst. My name is Wayne Sutton. I'm the co-founder and CTO of Change Catalyst. I started out as a documentary filmmaker with the goal of really creating change with, with film. So let's say I'm a lifelong geek, nerd, um, grew up, you know, tinkering with computers at an early age, um, also got into art. After working in the film industry, spent some time working with mission-driven brands, and found myself as a chief experience officer at an engineering firm. I then got into eight, IT, spent eight years at an interactive agency in North Carolina, and always had this drive to be an entrepreneur. And in 2009, I, I co-founded one of my very first startups. As the chief experience officer, I was the only woman in the room of, of men um, at the executive table. And I um, had risen to the top in my career in so many ways, uh, but I felt like I was at the bottom because I was not in an inclusive environment. And for me, um, it changed for me about six years ago. I have a six-year-old son. And I know what I've been through. I know what it's like to be in a black person room. I know the, the overcoming the challenges of, of being different. And I saw there was a common trend that often, like many minorities in tech, I was the only African American in the room, only diverse individual in the room, whether it's a conference, whether it's some uh, uh, panels. And, and data came out in 2011 and said that less than 1% of startups uh, founded by African American Latinos received angel venture capital. And by that time, I realized I'm one of that 1%. Now, how can I create change and, and increase that number? So I left, the, I left my job as, uh, as an executive at an engineering firm and went to take on the tech industry. And then that's when Melinda and I collaborated and spent those nine months working together mapping out the whole tech ecosystem. And so that's what I do what I do. We work uh, across the whole tech ecosystem, computer science, uh, workplace, tech workplace, uh, entrepreneurship and investment, and then also policy as well. We have multiple problems when we look at the ecosystem of education industry and the tech industry. Multiple problems across the board. And some of the problems are consistent. It's the same thing that we can fix, right? It's not rocket science. Uh, we look at the education industry in terms of computer science. There's the politics around the state and the government level in terms of implementing computer science program uh, credit, uh, credits and making it mandatory, right? It's 2017. Computer science will be mandatory um, curriculum for K-12 schools and beyond. We should just do it. Um, and the fact that it's not, you making computer science almost this elitism type skill in, in education that only the people can afford it, or people in big cities, or the states that are more advanced, it was continuing to cause this digital divide in our country and our education system. The number of women earning computer science degrees peaked in 1984 and has been dropping ever since. We know the stories. Women, African American, Latinos, they, they emotionally, not because intellectually, but emotionally, step away from the field because it's too much. Uh, many studies show that when you're um, leaving out diverse populations, you're leaving money on the table. It's uh, diverse teams, are, ethnically diverse teams are 35% more um, profitable, right? So uh, you're literally leaving that money on the table by not including them.